What's good, Real Fam? It's your boy, Big Man. If there was ever any real doubt when it comes to the question of whether or not Quavo and Offset are beefing, well, it's time to end that discussion right away. Offset and Quavo refused to sit next to each other during the Hawks game the other night, and that tells you everything you need to know. We saw Quavo and Offset pull up to the same game the other night, but in the same fashion as they used before. Sad to see it, but it is what it is. Why'd they sit apart, and does this even mean something in the grand scheme of things? Here's the recent news with Quavo and Offset. Saturday night, we had an exciting NBA game on our hands, Atlanta Hawks playing the Portland Trailblazers at their home in Atlanta. And luckily for the local fans, the Hawks managed to get dubbed that night. The fans loved to see it, and among them were two rap cats that you know quite well, two ATL natives, Quavo and Offset. The remaining members of the ATL trap group Migos had turned up to the game to show support for the boys in red and black, who they regularly support and follow. However, they did not come to watch the game together. In fact, they sat on completely different sides of the court. Quavo was on one side, and Offset was on the other. Have a look for yourself. tell from the video, the two were sitting far away from each other. Quavo was sitting alone and pretty covered up. Actually, there were very few things given on his identity away. Not only did he have a ski mask on, but he also had a pair of shades and a cap on, and he went full on camo that night. Kind of obvious that was the idea. He did not want any attention. The only thing that gives him away is that chain. And he never leaves that one. Offset, on the other hand, came to the basketball game with his two sons, Cody and Jordan. They were all sitting together and enjoying the game family style. What came as a surprise was that Quavo wasn't there with him. Nobody knows exactly why they sat so far away from each other, or if Quavo and Offset even knew that they both attended the game. It's kind of obvious that they went their own separate ways and wanted some privacy that night. Quavo made it clear in his recent Greatness track, which he released in Takeoff's name, that the Migos are no more. You can't have Migos without Take, and with his loss, the Migos have perished. After Take suffered a gunshot wound to the head and passed away on the night of the 31st of October, nothing was the same between Offset and Quavo. They had numerous incidents that went on to show that this is true. First, the Grammy Show Awards, then the track that Quavo released, and now this. Many weren't so sure if the Grammys actually meant something big or not. Never confirmed that a scuffle between them actually took place, and Offset even went to his Twitter in order to deny the claims that he had a fight with Quavo. What the f*** look like fighting my brother, y'all crazy. And of course, Cardi B, who was there with both of them, could be heard screaming, denying it too. When the reporter had asked her why she shouted in the backstage, Cardi B said, You back here settling some stuff. The only thing I settled was my outfit, honey. <laughs> but when two people don't get along, it's kind of difficult to hide it for long, especially if we're talking about two high profile guys from the rap world like Quavo and Offset. And with this basketball game, we kind of came to a conclusion they're not okay with each other. Some of their fans think we shouldn't judge them too quickly. They're going through a rough patch and they need a little more time in order to move on. One comment wrote, Just let them grieve in their own way. Human emotions are very strong yet complicated. Peace to both the family. Let not go overboard with this social media BS. Some simply want to provide their support and show some love. One man wrote, nothing but love for both these men. I hope they can work it out. Some believe that it's Quavo and not Offset who's acting weird. You look at the photos from the game, you kind of understand why. He's hurt and he's in a lot of pain. Otherwise, he wouldn't be coming to an event dressed like that. It's not like Quavo to dress like that. Loss of his brother completely transformed him and he can't help but notice it on him. Now, the fact that Offset came with his fam doesn't mean that Offset Offset is not yet grieving, but he definitely took a different approach when it comes to dealing with their loss. At this point, it seems like the Migos are simply beyond repair and salvage. You gotta let bygones be bygones. You could perhaps start looking forward to their solo careers that already exist and are definitely going to develop even further. Offset has been touring a lot in the recent months and perhaps we're going to see him drop yet another album soon. He made some insane live performances and the fans went bonkers when they saw him Warm. Offset really makes quite a show no matter where he goes, and he's surely going to continue that trend when he started a long time ago with Migos. Quavo's not far away, he released his greatness and Without You, and it makes you wonder if he's cooking up some more tracks with his nephew's name attached to it. The album only built for Infinity Link showed us what kind of magic that he and Take could make together. Perhaps he'll continue down that path alone and pay homage to Take by releasing a whole album to his name. Given his current emotional state, we wouldn't be surprised to see something like that released from him in the near future. What's your take on the Saturday night game and the fact that Quavo and Offset didn't feel like sitting close to each other at this point? Is it the money? Is it the trail? Does Quavo feel like Offset didn't really try his best to be there for him when he needed him? Let us know what you think about it in the comments section below. Feel free to let us know what you think is the real reason why these two just won't forgive each other and what happened in the past. If you like this video, be sure to drop that like and smash that subscribe button. That way you'll get notified immediately when we release a new video with 
exciting news from the hip-hop world. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, remember to keep it razzle!